When Nellie Bly went to Herodotus to suggest the idea of racing around the world, the answer first was, of course not, you're a woman, you would need a protector, you would need so much baggage that it would detain you in making rapid changes, and besides, you speak nothing but English, so there's no use talking about it, no one but a man could do it. Time luckily changed the men's minds, and a year later, off she was, leaving America, where I will end today for the next song. Black is the color of my true love's hair. Iconic for its interpretations by Nina Simone or Kathy Barbarian, it takes a unique place in the American folk song repertoire. The song, however, wasn't originally American. It traveled together with European immigrants to the overseas continent. Most probably, the song is originally Scottish, as the text refers to the River Clyde, and it was rediscovered for the first time in the Appalachian Mountains, where a lot of Scottish immigrants had settled. The composer John Jacob Niles wrote an adaptation of the song, and this is a version that we commonly sing and know of today. I will give you here an interpretation of the ancient version, so how it may have sound for the first time in the Appalachian Mountains, and how it is recorded by the mother of the American folk music, Jean Ritchie. Is so